Okay, now that I have the tool hooked up, I can turn the tool on. And now I have to come down here to this purple hose and I have to snip that hose so I can put a T in line. And we'll put that T in line and then we'll connect to our jumper hose. And then on the other end of the jumper hose, we're going to put a Schrader valve. Got to get that pushed in there. Make sure that's shoved in all the way so it connects. And there's just a quick connect. And this is what we're going to use to repair the line that we cut after we're done. So I'll put that in my pocket. So I have to come down here and I just got to find a good place to cut the air line. And you heard there was just a little bit of air left in it, but not much. So now we have to connect this hose. And they're just a push in fitting. We get the other one. So I got the tool on. Now I'm going to hook. To the air compressor and we're going to see how much air it takes. Turn that on. Take my Schrader. Hook up my pump. Okay, so blue is rear. So we'll get this hooked up. We're going to turn on the pump. So that would pump up to 109. But the valve is shut. So we've got 113 PSI in there right now. So we're going to turn on the valve for the front suspension. And now we're going to watch the front suspension go up. We're at a hundred and ten. It's come up a little. You can see she's raising, not to where we need it yet. Coming up so slow you can't really see it. We're at 116 psi right now. But it has come up quite a bit. 
If you used the 175 pound shop air that I normally use, it would be instantaneous. You flip the switch and she raises right up. We're at 120 PSI and the pump shut off. We're not as high as I want to go. Right. See how high this Milwaukee will pump. 120 might be its max. Yep, that's all this one will go. So at 120, it raised it a couple inches. Not where I want it to be to load on a trailer. But it's enough to get it inside my shop so I can get some shop air to it. And when I get it inside, I will show how shop air does it.